Hello, my name is Sir Devanilla, a very intelligent specimen of mankind, and in this video, I will make a basic game in Python, and teach artificial intelligence, or AI, how to play the game, and, as an AI generated model. What the heck are you doing, my studio, you oh, son of a- <clears throat> so as my AI generated friend said, we are going to teach AI how to play a game using machine learning. You might ask, what the heck is machine learning? Well, machine learning is a field of artificial intelligence that focuses on enabling machines to learn from data and improve their formal over time without being explicitly programmed as a way for computers. <sighs> it's a way for computers to recognize better and make decisions on problems by learning from examples or experiences. Basically, it is learning for machines. We are going to put an agent in a game and let it learn how to play the game. And we are going to use Python as it's the most used language for machine learning. One small teeny tiny problem. I forgot how Python works. Oh well I guess we have to watch Dev Jr's tutorial on how to learn Python too. <laughs> Firstly, we need a game. In the beginning, I thought of using the game I made in this video where you control a character and a platform that fades over time. You move the platform with your mouse pointer to pick up orbs and refill the platform. But then I remembered, letting AI play with your mouse isn't really a good idea. Hey, 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 what the heck are you doing? So I began working on a new game. It's going to be a 2D platformer where you play with this guy right here. I call him Hamid. Hamid is a bug inside of a tree. He's on a platform that is held by glue. And that glue fades away over time. He has to collect glue beans falling from the sky to re-glue his platform. But while he's trying to do that, flies try to attack him from both left and right. So your objective is to stay alive for as long as possible by collecting beans and dodging flies. I installed Pygame to handle stuff like the window, rendering, etc. And then went to Photoshop and made these assets for my game and export them in the game folder. I made the entities, player, and platform using something called Object Oriented Bro. You can learn what that is in this video. I began working on that game's tick function. It's a function that runs technically everything in the game. Stuff like the player, enemies, physics, and rendering. I made it take three variables and output three variables. The input of the tick function is basically a list of three items left right up each can be either zero or one so let's say if left was one right was zero and up was one when the tick function is called it will make the player jump and move to the left at the same time as for the output i made it give me the reward score and game over the score is the simplest one i just made it the amount of time survive the reward is the thing that tells the ai if we are doing good or bad i made it decrease when we miss a bean and increase when we dodge a fly or pick up a bean. Game over is a boolean that determines if in this frame the player died. This will make the AI reset the game and begin to play all over again. And then, to test the game, I made a script that will run the game every frame, take the input from my keyboard and run the tick function using that input. And as you can see, the game is fair. Well that's not very nice. Alright, the game is working fine, time to work on the AI. I use this tutorial that uses reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning or do-don't learning is a way for machines to learn based on rewards. It takes input and processes it by biases, strategies and patterns to give out an output. You take the reward of that output and give it to the AI to process it again. You give it a positive reward and it's going to do that thing and you give it a negative reward and it's going to stop doing that thing. If it were Firstly I began making the agent. It is the thing that is going to train on the game. The agent uses a model and a trainer to analyze the game. How does it do that? Well, by getting the state of the game. The state is a list of zeros and ones that tells the AI how the environment around him is. So in this game, the state will be consisting of booleans like, hey, is there is a bean above you, below you, on your left, on your right? And then these states are going to be fed to the trainer and the model to make a strategy. The trainer and the model are handled by the library called Torch. It deals with stuff like pattern recognition, biases, memory, etc. After making the model, trainer, and agent, I need to begin testing. I made a function called train. Here I made an instance of the agent and made it run the script game.py. And then I made a while loop that will do some stuff. Number one, it will get the state of the game. Number two, it will get the action from the agent depending on that state. Number three, it will run the tick function using the action from the agent. 
Number four, it will get the results and feed it into the agent and call something called the trade step, which is a function where the agent will begin to link his actions with the results. Number five, the AI will save everything it learned in a file called memory. That way I can just use the agent without having it learn everything from the start. And number six, if the player died, the game would restart. Then I added some stuff like plotting on a graph, getting the mean and high score, etc, etc. And then I ran the script. The first thing I realized was the window did not work like at all and when i tried to move it or something the program would crash i left it for a while and came back to see how the agent was doing and here is the thing he was stupid not even stupid bro intentionally jumped off the platform i'm not a psychologist or something but i think this agent has mental problems because that's not how you play the game so i turned off the program and began troubleshooting firstly i began looking on why the windows weren't working the reason was because the game was running on a different script without classes so generating an instance of the game was tough that's because the agent.py script had to generate an instance for each part of the game and control it in the process, making the game extremely laggy. Not only that, it also caused the game to run on another thread. What do I mean by that? Well, you know your CPU is a bunch of thread, right? Imagine the game running on a thread with rendering and all that, while your agent is running on a totally different thread. It will cause you some problems. So what I did is, I used buy games events to make the game sync with the agent. This fixed the problem and now there's no problems with the window. Then I began looking at the agent. For some reason, the agent's learning process was either extremely slow or there is no process at all. My hypothesis was that because my agent was using the time survived as a score, it was limiting his potential because the reward system is wanky with values having no sense of what's more important than the other. And there are other problems with the code that limits the agent from actually learning. So I began fixing it. Firstly, I made the agent score into a sum of the enemies dodged and beans eaten. Because logically, the more enemies you dodge and more beans you eat, the longer you will survive. And then for the reward system, I organized it based on importance. So if you die, you'll lose a lot of points. If you get hit or fall off of the platform, you'll lose less points, etc. Making the agent prefer dodging enemies and then eating beans. Then I had an idea. Instead of just letting the AI learn on its own, how about it making it use human data to train? So I made a switch in the program that will let me control the AI and making it record everything and learn from me. Then I began playing around with the model, increasing the memory and learning rate, and then I ran the program and played in human learning mode for some time, then let the agent do its thing and went to sleep. Okay, so, uh, so it's been eight hours. It's still night time. <clears throat> uh, I think that I should have learned enough by now. Uh, let's just let's just try it. Hopefully, hopefully we see some good results. Okay. You damn bitch.